It's 8 a.m. on a Tuesday, and I just had to sneak out of my own bed. I feel like I'm 12. Ew. I need you to start pulling your weight a bit more around here. There was no planning for this. It's not my fault I lost my job. Yeah, well, it's not my fault either. Last month it was all, oh, I love you so much, let's get a puppy. And now he's telling me I dress like shit and I have to pay rent. Shouldn't you be paying rent? I come home and you're still in your pajamas talking to that dumb computer. Come interview at the agency. My brother's a casting assistant for Agnes Carter, but she needs a new gopher. Gopher? Okay, come on, you want to pay rent, don't you? So do you want the job? Send in the next one! Did I ever tell you how I got this scar? Nobody cares about your mommy issues, Harry Potter. Well, I'm an actor. No, you're a douchebag. Listen to this bitch, she's calling me a liar. Are you calling me a liar? No! Oh, shit, I dropped your head. Leave it, Carson. Everything happens for a reason. This is not a rhetorical question. Did you leave your brain at home this morning? I just don't understand why she has to be such a bitch. I don't. I'll show you, bitch. And that's just how she is, okay? Don't take it personally. Yeah, she gets off on being mean, but she really only does it to people she thinks she can get a rise out of. So you just gotta learn how to play the game. Play the game or what? Or you lose. So my boss, the bitter day drinking recluse, thinks that I need to change my life. And she's right. Well, what are you? I don't know, your assistant. Fuck, that's sad. Get out of that safety net. We can't expect her to be on the same life path as us. I'm trying. Try harder. I feel like I'm in a bad movie or some kind of hidden camera show and the joke's on me.